What's up everyone, welcome back to Miami Miles. My name's Mickey. In today's episode, the 765 LT Spider nestled atop this beautiful parking structure. It is a beautiful day down here in South Florida, but I wanted to take a moment to make a video about everything that I love about this car. Some would think after my previous video that I dislike it, that I wanna flip it, that I wanna make a cool $250,000 profit. But the truth is this car is a lot more than just a dollar amount. It is spectacular. So let me tell you why I absolutely love this car. Let's go right into it. A little bit. The thing I love the most about this car is its appearance. Look at how drop dead gorgeous it is. I love its ass. I love how the ass comes around and blends so deliciously well to the side and it sleeks down to this front. Look at how aggressive that is. I've seen this car next to a Senna, next to a 48 Pista. I've seen it next to the STO and I'm still struggling to, to realize that any of those cars look better than this. It's so gorgeous not just the color but the intricate details the carbon fiber throughout the carbon fiber on the inside everything about it is beautiful an artist made this this is and will be throughout the rest of history one of the most beautiful cars ever made and i guarantee at some point in the future it'll be worth a fortune my second favorite thing about this car is this drop top Look, I can't tell you how many times I've driven this car with the top up and it just feels like a regular McLaren. But the moment you deploy this glorious drop top and it drops, it just lets so much sound into the cab and shit. Just listen to it coming up the parking garage up to this structure. <laughs> listen to it going down a tunnel. Listen to it going under an overpass. Every single time you get into the power in this car with this top down, all the sensations overwhelm every cell in your brain and you become a giggling little boy. I've never had a car ever do this to me. And honestly, it's 100% correlated with this roof. If you have the money to buy the coupe, don't you do it, buy the spider. The third thing that I love is how it sounds. Yo, you guys would never think that a McLaren sounds so good. You've probably heard the 600 LT, the 720S, but for some reason, this thing with the IP downpipes that we got installed sounds incredible. We get turbo whooshes, we get wastegate rattles. The combination of all these sounds is what makes it sound so spectacular. If you get into an A12, for instance, you just get the sing songy sensations of the V12, but you don't get everything else. This may be one of the greatest sounding cars in history. The next point, and perhaps the hardest one to elaborate through a camera, is this car's speed. Look, you guys have seen the draggy times, the quarter mile times, 100 million YouTubers have shown you just how fast this car is. But being able to convey that speed through a camera besides showing you a speed, a number on a dash is almost impossible. So let me take a shot at it. Dude, when this car gets on boost, especially in second and third gear, you better hold on to your life. You better pucker up your sphincter because it will rip your mother face off. I have never felt a car like this that pulls so hard after 130 miles an hour. I don't know if it's the weight or the aerodynamics or what it is about this car, but when you combine everything that this car is good at with that turbo lag, the speed, the way it gut punches you every time you get into it, you get an experience that's unlike anything else. So check this out as I pull in this car into the mid 100.
The craziest part is that that happens in just around nine seconds. It's so terrifying because you have to make sure there's no one around you. You have to make sure the streets are clear. And in Miami, that's almost impossible. Getting into one of these and exploiting it on Miami road is a death sentence. I'm surprised I haven't crashed it yet, but yeah, the speed drives me absolutely nuts. The fifth and final point, and perhaps the biggest reason why I'm in love with this car is exclusivity. I can't tell you how much I used to take that for granted. I used to think that my GT3 was exclusive, but this thing is on a whole nother level. I can't tell you how many times I've parked this up at a car show, at a conversation, people come up to me and go, holy shit, how the did you get one of those? How did you get it? Um, basically I had a 600 LT and then, yeah, I don't know how. The groups of people that I've gotten a chance to hang out with, the people that have come up to talk to me. Shit, the other day, I even found a Senna on the road randomly, and we were just hanging out, racing upwards of 130, 140 miles an hour, up 95. It was unbelievable. That would have never happened in any other car. That's probably the biggest reason why I won't get rid of this thing. Like, I don't flex on people. I don't pretend you can't pretend with this thing. $451,000, you better bring at least a quarter million dollars down to buy one, right? It's just something that just says to people, shit, this is somebody worth talking to and that's extremely valuable. So yeah, in conclusion, this has been one of the best experiences of my life. I made the video about the five things or all the things I hated about the car, but in reality, I love the car tenfold in order of magnitude more than I hate it. And it's not just because it's a car, it's not just because of the sensations, it's because of everything that comes with having a car like this. Like I remember one of my mentors once said, it's not about making a million dollars. It's about the person you become on the journey to get the million dollars. And this car is the epitome of that statement. It has allowed me to propel me in this journey through YouTube, through this camera, with connections to, to just increase the quality of my life. And I never thought a material object could ever do that. So I am in love. I'm not saying I'll never sell it, Getting a $250,000 profit is very appetizing, but I can tell you for now, I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of it. If you guys enjoyed that video, go down below, give me a subscribe, a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.